Hello everyone, this is Shivani here. Welcome to my channel Shivani Creations. Today I am showing you how to make this very gorgeous and very beautiful floral shagun envelope. And these are handmade foamy down flowers. It looks like this from backside and I will just show you the inside look. So I have just tightened the thread here to close the flaps and the flaps will get open like this these are the gate flaps for the envelope design and now you just need to open this page and inside this you will get the envelope isn't it a unique and beautiful idea so quickly I am just tightening the knot of my thread and without any further delay let's start with the procedure First I am taking this white cardstock which measures 21 by 22 cm and from left and right sides I have creased on 1.5 cm. Now I am just rotating my sheet and from left side I have creased on 5 cm and 13.5 cm. Now I am folding all the creases and burnishing it very well using bone folder. Then we just need to chop off these four corners using scissor. And then I am just constructing my envelope. So in the bottom I am adhering it with glue. I am using fabric glue by Little Birdie. This is very nice and it dries clear and very quick. I just love this glue very much. So I am uh, adhering the bottom flap with these two side folds. Burnishing it using my bone folder. And super easy basic envelope is ready. Then here I am taking the beautiful pattern paper pack called Songs of the Sea by Little Birdie and I have already taken these two flaps according to the size of the envelope. So you have to keep your envelope in front opened side and then I am just decorating the front part using pattern paper. Also, I am adding one more strip inside the envelope. Then I am taking here Dream Cut Die Cut Machine by Little Birdie and this beautiful oval designer die and white cardstock. This die is from Thin Cut Dies by Little Birdie and I took the center part of this set. This is very intricate and beautiful die. Now I am quickly making the sandwich of uh, everything and passing through my die cut machine and after passing only twice you will get the beautiful intricate design. Just clean the excess parts and then the die cut is ready. I have divided my die cut into two equal parts and now inside the die cut I am adding this light green color cardstock just to decorate this similarly I have added cardstock on this side also and we need two more flaps of the same design now I am taking this beautiful intricate background die cut out I used this thin cut die background by little birdie again and cut it using white cardstock and paste it on the same light green color cardstock now i'm dividing this background die cut also from the center so that we can create two flaps for our envelope and then i'm going to stick my these ovals on top of this 
in one corner. Similarly, adding the another piece with the second panel. Then from back side also, I am adding one more cut out. It will give the strength to the cut out part because we are going to add thread on this part only. And similarly, I am going to add the cut out from back side on this as well. Then taking one more pattern paper sheet which measures 22 by 8.5 centimeters, and uh, taking back my envelope, putting it exactly inside this, and on back side I am going to adhere my this back cardstock piece. So we just need to fold the two sides of this strip according to the shape of the envelope. Then I am adding glue on this folded flap and sticking my die cut out which we have created earlier on both the sides. And this is done. We are just going to add our envelope inside this. Then before sticking it, we need to cut the excess strip of this die cut out. So from back side, I am just cutting this excess strip from top and the bottom. And now it's ready to use. So it's time to adhere our envelope inside this. And I am adding the glue exactly in the center and sticking my envelope. And this is done. It's very very beautiful. Then here I have these two beautiful flaps which I got from the tag sheets from the same paper pack collection. I used these two tags from the pack and I am just sticking it on the left and right sides of the panels for the finishing touch. And this is done. Then to attach the thread I am using your satin thread by little birdie we get five colors in one pack and the silver metal brad pin we need two pins now i will just show you how to connect the brad with the thread so we just need to make one knot first then pass it through the metal brad tighten the knot like this make one more knot then I am passing the brad pin through the flap I have already created one hole on this and now from back side I am just opening the brad pin and securing it very well and tada the thread has been attached with the flap similarly I have added one more thread on left side and now I am quickly making the bow knot here and the basic envelope is ready now it's time to decorate this so here I have created these three flower cutouts using this die set by little birdie I have used this size and this size to create my flowers and 
the foam is also from little birdie called bloom foam and this is in the ivory white shade now i am just coloring the flower from the center using blue color archival ink this is the cobalt blue ink you can also use soft pastel or soft oil pastels to color these flowers then i am taking the leaf this is also cut from the same die set and i colored it using light green archival ink now i'm taking my hot iron and embossing pad putting the flower on the iron rotate it slowly so it will automatically get cup shape put it on the embossing pad quickly and pinch in the center using ball tool so the flower will get the beautiful cuppy shape similarly i'm repeating it with the remaining two flowers it's super easy to make and then i'm taking my leaf and also embossing the leaf as well immediately put it on embossing pad and then just make one crease line exactly in the center for the when of the leaf and this is done super easy now it's time to adhere all three layers together so again i'm using my fabric glue and sticking these three layers with each other and in the center i'm going to add 8 mm pearl for the center of the flower so flower is ready in the similar way i have prepared one more big flower and four tiny flowers for the tiny flower i have used two layers and some leaves so the beautiful foam flowers are ready now taking back my envelope and i am just decorating it using my handmade flowers and it's done now i'm opening my envelope again and putting the note inside the envelope it's a very very unique and beautiful idea if you are making envelope for shagun or for any occasion you can try out this method i have decorated it with some border cutouts this die is also from little birdie and now i am just making the knot on my envelope it's looking very very pretty very shabby and very pastel so that's it for today hope you enjoyed my video please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos and please click on bell icon for the latest updates thanks for watching bye bye